I'm Todd Bingham, President and CEO of the Utah Manufacturers Association, and welcome to this week's UMA on the Hill. It's the fourth week of the legislative session. We'll continue to be tracking more than 150 bills up on the Capitol Hill, and we'll be talking about those things that are affecting manufacturing and business in general. But before we do, I want to spend a minute and talk about the wonderful building that I get to spend time in every day this part of the year, which is Utah's state capital. Utah became the 45th state in the Union in 1896, but prior to that, the legislature was held in borrowed rooms and buildings back when Fillmore was actually the state seat. In 1909, uh, the Salt Lake City had donated 20 acres of land on what was then known as Arsenal Hill to become the site of the future Capitol building. The budget in 1909 was set at $2.5 million. Can you imagine building a building of that size and that grandeur for $2.5 million? If you're thinking that the state capital resembles a lot of what you see in the US Capitol, you'd be right. Richard Kletting won the bidding process as the architect for the capital construction, and that started in 1912. And it does have a lot of similarities to the US Capitol. The complex has grown over the years to include a Senate, House, state office buildings, the Supreme Court, which is uh, no longer used, but is a historical display there in the Capitol. And it's a phenomenal building, one that we should be very proud of. I get the pleasure of spending time up there every day, and uh, I'm always in awe of such an amazing building. On to some of the legislation that we're tracking this week, the much anticipated Senate Bill 59 passed both the Senate and the House unanimously and provides a $200 million tax cut to Utahns. As was promised, it goes from 4.95% on the corporate income tax rate and the personal rate down to 4.85. And for a family of four individuals with an average income of around $70,000, that means about $100 a year that you're getting back from tax income. So that's a good piece of, uh, of tax policy. Certainly there are multiple other areas that the legislature will be looking at. This week, the legislature heard House Bill 262 from Representative Kay Christofferson, which is a bill that attempts to remove a number of incentives that benefit manufacturing, including the R&D tax credit, which is a significant tax credit for manufacturers who are looking at entrepreneurship, innovation, and research and development projects. The association uh, testified against this bill. In fact, uh, our chairman, Mr. Clint Morris from Lifetime testified against the bill and talked about the great impact that it is for them as a manufacturing company, as did Mr. Steve Young, who chairs UMA's tax uh, council. And uh, he spoke in opposition to the bill as well. The bill was held in committee and likely won't come up again. However, during the off season in the interim, we look forward to having discussions on what types of incentives, tax credits, and tax treatment is important for manufacturers to continue to invest in what is a highly capital intensive industry and still encourage innovation, research and development and entrepreneurship in the state. The numbers for the budget uh, in the state of Utah will come out firm numbers this afternoon. Uh, on Friday afternoon and over this weekend, we will see uh, more firm numbers as they start looking at what are the options for potentially more tax cuts and where will they put uh, dollars into education funding and social service programs, what types of things we'll be looking at. As an organization, we're always looking at how to not grow government, how to not try and fund ongoing programs with one-time dollars. There's a significant amount of revenue being driven right now from both the federal and the state side as we rebounded quite well from uh, COVID in the state of Utah and lead the country in terms of economic growth. However, we wanna make sure that those tax dollars don't get pushed into ongoing programs where we're growing government. Again, I'm Todd Bingham, President and CEO of the Utah Manufacturers Association. Thanks for listening in to UMA on the Hill. And as always, we'll be your voice on the Hill, protecting the interests of the manufacturing community throughout this 45-day session and throughout the year. Continue to do what you do in the state of Utah. And remember that what Utah makes, makes Utah.